Hello, hello. If you are there, drop me a quick hello as well. Let me see you. Let me know you're there and you can hear me properly. Right then. So, sorry for me being a few minutes late. Um, it is Samantha Jane, otherwise known as the Psychic Coach. I'm here live in Swindon with this week's tarot show. So, hi Rachel, lovely to see you tuning in. Got the old cardies on. Hasn't it set in winter? Hi Tom, nice to see you tuning in as well. Um, <laughs> hi Tina, nice to see you. Hi Sophie, hi David. I'm really good, thank you. I hope that you guys are as well. Hi Nicola, nice to see you on the live then. Hi Michaela, hi Julie, hi David. I hope you are all keeping well. Um, Notice a drop in temperature of you. Don't like it when the clocks change, I've got to admit. Hi Tonya, hi Vicky. <laughs> You're on holiday, <laughs> love it. Hi Hannah, lovely to see you all tuning in. Now, this week is quite interesting energetically with the planet trees is what I mean by that um, because we went into, we've had full moon energy, all right? Um, and that full moon is has the potential to bring your family it is freezing Nicola I can't cope already <laughs> that full moon has already got the um influence into your family into your relationships and that is how it will be for the next two weeks all right so there is a potential conflict this week um, there is a potential for what you need versus what you want being at struggle this week as well. So be aware of that. All right. Um, and there is this need to be very mindful of how things are playing out for you, as I say, in your family connections. Because we've got this new moon energy, it's creating spon this spontaneity, some erratic behaviour, sudden changes, um, anxiety, impatience, all of these sort of energies are possible this week. Thank you for sharing. If, if anyone else can share, I would appreciate it. Thank you, Tina. I need to redo them. <laughs> Go and get them read them. Can't find time. Um, but some of you may even have someone from the past entering in the next 28 days. Because obviously a moon cycle, we've gone into this new moon. So the net this moon cycle is going to last for 28 days. Over those 28 days, I'm going to warn you now, if someone from your past steps in, be aware that it's probably very likely they're going to cause a lot of chaos and then leave as fast as they came in. So see anything coming, any past person coming in as being about healing, letting go and things like that. If someone from the past unexpectedly so suddenly walks back into your life, be very careful. All right, be very careful indeed. So we need to watch at the moment for this week for and over the next sort of 28 days for accidents, of behaviour, lots of excitement, um, people being unreliable because of all these changes and shifts. So there could be cause for, as I said earlier, arguments because of that in family and home life and things like that. Thank you for sharing, Nicola. Um, so the best way to deal with the energy, certainly at the start of the week, and it will progress, is to be flexible. All right, be flexible um, and just adapt to the changes that are going on around you rather than want everything dush, 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 dush. All right, I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, now when we get to the 20... Um, we're already on the 27th, ignore me. I don't even know what day of the week it is. <laughs> so another thing, jumping ahead then. So another thing that is going on is um, that we have this real um, time where we need to express ourselves and we can have difficulty in doing that. All right, we have difficulty in doing that. So be aware of that. Your desires for things will be growing but you will have more resistance because of this this resistance is just about difficulty in making sure we want things and teaching us to express our passion and to go for success all right 
So be aware of people in positions of power, authority figures. You know, it can be your father. It could be other dominant men, teachers, bosses, people that may put you down um, and try to restrict your ambition or stop you from achieving things you want to achieve. All right. Be aware of that. Okay, be aware it's their issue, not yours, but just be mindful that these people are for some reason wanting to hold you back. So you may struggle this week to start a new project, all right? So it may be better this week to concentrate on what you've already got, what you're already um, building and creating rather than start something new. OK, because obviously rejection, which we may experience frustration and all that anger that we may experience this week will cause us issues in expressing ourselves as well. OK, so this is a week where be patient, kind of plod along, keep working hard, keep chugging along, as it were. And that will get you to where you want to be rather than big, dramatic steps. Does that make sense? Is that resonating with any of you already? So then when we jump forwards, um, and know we've got Halloween on the 31st here in the UK, but what we've also got is Mercury retrograde. Yep, you heard it there. Mercury retrograde. But I'm going to tell you not to panic with this one. And this one is supposed to be a much softer uh, retrograde than the ones that we have had so far this year. Hi, Lulu. Hi, Charlotte. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, Mercury is always associated with communication issues, technology breakdowns. I know I hold my breath through it for, because of this. Um, travel issues, losing stuff. All right. All of these things can come into play. But this is not so much of a challenging one. And keep that in your mind. All right. Because Actually, any communication problems with this one is actually to sort out your communication issues. So what will be highlighted in this Mercury retrograde is old patterns of poor communication. Does that make sense? Let me know. <laughs> and that's what will be dominating. All right. But actually, this Mercury retrograde has more of a because it's close to Venus. It sits with Venus. It's got this friendly, sociable, more affectionate kind of energy because of Venus's influence of love and peace. All right. So communication issues would mean that this is high Nicola. And this would mean that this is a good time to be telling someone that you love them. Um, it puts you in touch with what you love about people and it makes it easier for you to share your affections, okay? So other people may find it easier to share your travel and communicate, um, commu share your travel, share that, because I just read what someone's put, share their feelings, share compliments, things like that with you, all right? Does that make sense? So other people may be appreciating you um, a bit more with this retrograde than perhaps in previous what times. So it's a good time to be asking for favors, good time to be asking someone out on a date, good time for old friendships to fire back up, and also a good time for socializing and make making new friends. You're traveling on Thursday, Rachel. <laughs> Check and double check those that booking information. All right, that's all I'm going to say. Just check and check and check. All right. Yeah, there is hope of this one, Sophie. There is. It's a much gentler one. All right, and it's just about any communications it brings up are ones that need sorting rather than a full-on crash bang wallop. All right, so I'm going to change now to the tarot to see what the tarot will give us for the week ahead. As always, I'm going to say, readings are for entertainment purposes only. So take what resonates with you and ignore what doesn't. And if you feel the need to tune back in later in the week, I will leave it as a replay. And if you're watching on replay, then please leave me the hashtag replay so I know how many of you watch on replay. Right then, so this week, yes, there may be some unexpected changes, but it's all about opportunities. It's all about shifts and changes. It's all about good stuff, all right? There may be delays, um, and there may be this um, feeling of needing to watch yourself and protect yourself as the communication comes in, but actually wishes and hopes and dreams can all be, um, be received this week through this energy. Hi, Nikki. 
and through this communication about emotions all right so be aware of that if you are not in a relationship i suddenly feel this urge to say keep your options open i don't know who it is that's watching that needs to hear that don't be squeezed yeah and just keep going so yes many of you will have gone through some stuff lately that has left you feeling a little bit more guarded hi margaret a little bit more guarded than perhaps you need now be but on one hand i will say to you stay in charge of your kingdom your queendom stay in charge all right but don't turn your back on the opportunity to express emotions this week or a, or the opportunity for someone else to express emotions to you this week, all right? Because this is how your ship comes in. This is how the good stuff starts to come in. Now, when it comes to work and business, there may even be new offerings um, and new pathways, new projects, opening up new teams to join, stuff like that. This is opportunity this week. It's opportunity to get on path with something that actually suits you very well, all right? So yes, we can have endings this week and it may all happen very quickly, but this feels very positive and as a driving force to get you to move forward. So again, I'm gonna say, if you're looking at jobs, etc., this is at the beginning of this week, it was a good week to keep your options open and create that space for something new and a new opportunity to come in. All right, so yes, changes on the cards in many people's work and business aspect, but it's really, it all feels so positive. Just keep communicating. Don't be shy to communicate your wishes, all right? Or your needs or something like that, all right? And we need a positive mindset to pull that in. Remember, what you are getting is what you are putting out. If you want positivity in, you've got to speak and be positive to create the space for it to come in. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Svetlana. Now, so yes, there may be this push to make choices between options this week. Follow your intuition. When we have high emotions, we have to follow intuition as well. Okay, now when it comes to relationships, again, I've got an intuition card here. You need to follow your intuition on your connections, in your network, whether it's your, relation, your intimate relationship, family, friends, work, colleagues, whatever. Trust that intuition, okay? Especially when it comes to dealing. I think it came up in the um, planetaries. Especially when it comes to dealing with people in positions of power and authority, all right? Trust your intuition. You know your stuff, though. You can stand your ground. Hi, Simon. You can stand your ground, but trust your intuition in how to stand your ground with this person or these people this week, all right? Because when it comes to your personal spiritual growth sectors, at lovelies, there is opportunity here to be brave, to take something a step further. Hi, Sarah. To get out of comfort zone and start something that you are going to love. So this is a week that even though we've got this new moon, even though we've got retrograde, Mercury retrograde coming in on Thursday, and um, that will stay with us until the um, 20th of November. This is about beginnings of love and beginnings of success and having everything that we want. All right, I have my reveal card here as well. There are things to be revealed this week. Yes, there are endings, but I feel most of you with those endings that you're already in them or they've already gone on, so you're aware of them, all right? But right now, it's all about stepping forward with good, strong communication. Watch your communication. Read everything you write over and over again. Check that you are, when you're writing stuff, this is a week to read it and reread it. And make sure that you are speaking your truth and you're speaking clearly about what you want or what you want to achieve. Don't leave it for people to second guess. That won't work this week. We've got to have clarity in communication to get those rewards or, or those situations resolved or something like that. Am I making sense? Drop me a comment and let me know. Right, let me see what else they will give you before I jump over into my private group for the messages. 
private messages. But, um, those of you who haven't tuned in for a little while, I've switched it, mixed it up a bit and switched it. So I do the general for everybody here, which then goes on to YouTube. So I choose to do the private readings in my private group so that your private messages aren't posted all over YouTube. So I hope you understand it's for your good that I split it now. Right then. So some of you may actually be feeling quite drained and tired with the amount of energy that life is taking either to be in it or from you or something like that. Got to go where the love is this week to boost that energy to build you back up. All right. And that is beginnings. There have been exchanges which are still affecting you. All right. And there is this need to recognize that for some of you listening today and watching that you need to invest elsewhere and you do need to invest, you know, and it's definitely a week of change and putting a lot of energy into change because I'm going to say if you keep doing the same things, you're going to keep getting the same result, the same things. All right. So be aware of that. I've got conversations, there's commitments, contracts, long term money. There are rewards and um, what would that word be? Uh, what do you call it? You know, where people, ah, my brain is failing. Recognition. Thank you. And, re <laughs> and recognition for the work that you are doing. All right. But there's a lot of energy going into this change, into this shift, whether it's you personally or whether you are an angelics worker and it's on a global and it's taking your energy to do this work. Know that there's a lot of energy that is going into this shift, but by the end of the week, life should be feeling a lot better and you should feel a lot better when you look ahead at your long term. There is this need for many to take a deep breath and to step forward peacefully. All right, so this isn't a season for looking backwards because you're not going there and that's what's going on for many of you. Your head is in the past or your heart is in the past and we need to step forward and allow destiny to bring us in these new cycles. So I hope that that helps you. I really, really do. Now, if you want to book a private session with me in online reading, or you want to order an emailed reading, then you will need to go to my main website, which is needapsychic.co.uk. But for now, I'm popping over into my private group to do the private readings. I hope you join me there. Have fun, everyone. Bye-bye.